The ultimate fishing challenge on any New South Wales estuary is chasing big jewfish. These fish are extremely elusive and you'll have to put in the hard yards to catch one, which is a great excuse to spend some time out on the water. A tide change early in the morning or late in the evening is a classic feeding time for these larger predators. But you can catch them during the day if you're lucky enough to get the right conditions. For example, working bait schools are a good sign as dewfish will follow these up and down a river. Problem was, there were so many bait schools about on this particular day, it was hard to know which one had a dewfish in attendance. A side scan sounder helped narrow down the chase. Jimmy on the sounder out to the right, get a cast in there. I cast a storm pro shad towards the fish and finally hooked what I'd been searching for. I was in for one heck of a ride. This fish has taken so long to catch. <laughs> they just take forever and they, the bite is so subtle. Like, like a mouse trying to pinch a bit of cheese off a trap. They are just forever cautious, and if your reflexes aren't 100% perfect, you will miss them. You will catch 100 brim, 200 flathead, and dozens of other fish before you get one of these babies. It is the fish of a thousand casts. Now look, the Jewfish, we're very common in this river, but they've been commercially fished pretty hard until around about four years ago when the commercial netting was stopped in here as part of the Batemans Marine Park. And they're making a comeback. They're not easy. I certainly would master things like brim, flathead, and other species first. But if you want a challenge and you <laughs> can handle going a day without catching one or the chance of just getting a bite, then these are the fish for you. And the good thing about the Hobies, of course, is you, your hands are free and you can pedal. And it's what's made kayaking so special to me without question being able to put that paddle down and fish to your heart's content and not just in remote places that they take you where boats can't get but also popular spots like this and i just seem to get more fish i think it's a stealth factor and if i get this puppy up you'll see what i mean yeah there he is a big jewel oh he's got company too shark no another jewy there's another Jewy following him around. Two Jewfish for the price of one. Oh, yeah. This pro angler is just without question the best kayak on the market by a country mile. Look at that. <laughs> there he is. Look at the purple in him around the back. Out again, just a few flicks of the tail. And what I can see there is a massive jewfish. Uh, they're so stable that you can actually use the flippers while you're standing up to paddle around. Just use your foot to adjust the rudder. Obviously, you want to get your balance before you try it, but it's very, very stable. All right. Come on. 